Thank you, Face to Face, for this amazing award. We're truly honored. Thank you for creating a platform that empowers Africa the only way that's possible through its people, through technology, and through content. And our mission is to rebrand Africa, is to change the Pan-African narrative. Africa is very important to the entire world. And it's important that we acknowledge Africa and understand Africa. This whole idea about inspire, aspire, is something as, as black people we have to do more of. Uh, we have to help each other and we at Diaspora have to, have to stand up and have a voice. So it's just such an honor for me. This feels so much like the Oscars. I am truly and profoundly honored to be recognized as a trailblazer by such a trailblazing organization like Face to Face. This is a weekend full of excellence. Anytime we get a chance to salute people who are doing really positive things in the community, um, it's just a great thing. And at Prudential, we want to honor those people, but we also want to take the opportunity to um, help people achieve financial prosperity. The vision of Toyota is a broad one, but it's a beautiful one. It said everyone would live their most authentic, fulfilled life. This event does just that. It allows people of Pan-African descent to embrace, to celebrate, to encourage, to lift up, and to do all the things that we need to do for ourselves to live our best, most authentic, fulfilled life. On behalf of Face to Face Africa, I just wanted to welcome you all to the official kickoff to the 2018 Pan-African Weekend. So first of all, I believe black women aren't just changing the Pan-African narrative, I believe we're changing the world's narrative. We can play so many different roles as a woman. You do not have to neglect one in order to appease or please the other. Because when you think you have this problem and you are alone, my dear, you're not alone. There are millions of women like you who are hiding with the problem that they can't find help. Tiffany can help you build your business and help you grow money, but if you, know how, if you don't know how to manage it, it's right through your hands, like running water. And so I would recommend, and what I do, what I know I needed to do was I got a financial professional. Now I know if I fall off this stage and crack my skull, my family will, like, they'll cry at my funeral, but they'll be okay. Like, they're gonna be fine. The first thing when you ask, um, how did I change my destiny? I stopped worrying about what everyone thought. I got to the point where I just don't give a damn anymore. <laughs> I'd love to see and feel this kind of community of strong black women because when black women are unified, it's a dangerous combination. <laughs>
I'm standing here today because I wanted to show you and maybe, maybe that can give you hope. I brought my son. For, for 10 years, I didn't know I would hold this one. I didn't know I was holding hold a child, but I stood for what I wanted. I wanted to be a mother. And I have him right now, here. I fought so bad. The reason why I do what I do is because my grandmother was an entrepreneur. She didn't make it to high school, she didn't make it to college, uh, but she knew that if she worked hard, she would create an opportunity for my mom, and my mom knew if she worked hard, she would create an opportunity for me. And it's why you see the passion that I have in creating opportunities for us. And it's why I'm unapologetic when I say I'm an immigrant. We are all immigrants, because in this time, when immigrants are vilified, we need to show the impact that we have on this country. We came to this country for opportunity. We create opportunity. We don't come to this country to take, we come to this country to give. We all need, 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 we all need each other. Uh, it is, uh really a pleasure uh, and an honor to be here and receive this award from Face to Face Africa. It's, it's a true honor uh, to be here among such uh, greatness and, and black excellence, really. And so uh, I feel very proud and humbled to receive this award from Face to Face Africa. This award that I just received is for all of the kids out there who feel like everything is not possible for them. Like, I want you to know everywhere around the world, kids, that everything is possible. <laughs> if you just put your mind to it, everything is most definitely possible. I'd like to thank Face to Face for intentionally creating a face of Africa that we are proud to live every day and for building a legacy our children will be proud to embrace and build upon. Who said great things cannot come from Africa? This is black excellence at its best a representation of celebration of Pan-African culture. And I couldn't be more um, thrilled to be here. Our jazz brunch, we usually dedicate that to, you know, pay tribute to jazz music, to highlight current, you know, jazz musicians, local jazz musicians in the community. During the events, there's so many, so much going on that, you know, a lot of people don't get to talk to each other or mingle well, so this is where it's like calm, we can all sit and listen to music and, you know, mingle with each other and get to know each other a little bit more. The theme today has been Ankara, or African print, and, you know, all the ladies and gentlemen here are wearing a touch of that, so it's really beautiful to see that. Oh,